Okay, welcome to the next of the AQA 2012 Comp 1 exam monster game pests. And for this one, we're going to have a look at uh, how we can change the move validation to take into account uh, that you mustn't leave the dungeon. So at the moment, we, we can leave the dungeon. Uh, if in this situation I was to go north, it would let me do that, and I'd go to a zeroth position. Uh, I could also go west to a zeroth position. If I was over here, then I could go east and move uh, out of the array bounds, or I could go south and move out of the array bounds. And basically, we need to take that into account. Um, we're going to use the constants rather than fixed values, although, of course, we'll use uh, the value 1 for this first row and first column, but we'll use the um, north-south distance and the east-west distance constants. Uh, as a little quick extra at the end of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to change it so that uh, the lower case is handled. We're just going to use the ucase um, function that just changes the lower case to an upper case. Right, let's jump to the code. Um, so this is the function we're going to be dealing with. I have heard it mentioned that you should put the uh, validation to make move. makes it slightly easier, but I think um, this is the place to put it, especially as um, there's some validation already there, and it's, it's kind of crying out for uh, uh, an extra validation to be added because we've got this player pos uh, player position being passed to this uh, function, but it's uh, not being used. So it's this is, as like I said, a pretty high percentage to be included. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, add a new if statement, and uh, to do that, all we're going to do is just stick that in and then we need to work out our, our criteria and uh, the first thing we're going to look at is if we're in the first row and we want to go north so that would send us over into a zero position i.e. off the grid so I'm just simply saying if direction is north and the player position is one then we'll, we'll make it invalid uh, just I've used this underscore notation because we're going to be whacking in quite a big criteria and um, I'm just using the underscore to allow me to move to a new line without it being a new command so I can have one big criteria all in a block that's nice to look at. So we now need to look at the if I was trying to move south and I was at the bottom of the grid which of course is the fifth position at the moment but it could be changed. Uh, west, and I'm in one, the first column, or uh, east, and I'm in the rightmost column, the eastmost column. Uh, of course, I need to set uh, valid move equal to false. And that is, to be honest with you, all I need to do. Um, you might be thinking, oh, why hasn't Joe put a do loop around this validation? Well, this is a uh, function that returns a boolean so it returns true or false and if we go down to play game we can see that the do loop is actually in this little sort of set of um, uh, calls so display the move options the menu getting the actual move and then the the valid move checker so basically this is a lovely little loop that calls these three wouldn't be at all surprised if you get asked to analyze a structure chart for this little section um, because it's just crying out for it really. Just as a little aside, um, if I wanted to sort out that uppercase lowercase thing, so the moment if I put a lowercase n it doesn't get uh, sorted out, I wouldn't do it in the check valid move, I'd just wang it into the, uh, the get move section. So um, I just put a little U case there, which just, as you can see, just converts it to an uppercase. And it doesn't seem to mind if you um, put a non-alpha character into there. So if you put a number or whatever, it just gets ignored. Um, we ought to test it, so let's quickly do that. Okay, so let's start a new game. And 
start off with let's try putting in a lowercase uh, uh, a lowercase uh, west like lowercase east to move across and what I'm hoping is that that will actually move the character across yeah it does fantastic just do it again and we'll go south south west uh, I'll set up a trap the monsters now have to move great um, let's go uh, north uh, oh, of course you have to hit enter twice for the monster to move uh, north now if I move north now it shouldn't let me so let's find out north no it isn't, it's not let me annoyingly it hasn't displayed the um, the cavern again I guess that's something we could add uh, let's go uh, east away from the monster no sorry west away from the monster uh, and let's try going west again and it shouldn't let me uh, which is good uh, let's try and we're not going to be able to go south because the monster's going to get us. So we'll, we'll, we'll go back to the main menu. But um, in that short sequence, you can see that it clearly wasn't allowing us to go off the, the uh, cavern anymore. And also it definitely was handling uh, lowercase characters because in fact I didn't bother putting an uppercase in all of that. Ideally I'd have, I'd have tested the uppercase as well, but... Uh, I'll let you do that yourselves when you try this solution.